So we are here at Rafa's garage. Today we're working on the Corolla. So car is overheating. Um, it's only when it's in traffic. Like if I'm on a dead stop, you know, it'll turn off or start overheating. Um, and the reason being is because the fans are not working like they're supposed to. Um, car overheating when I was crossing the border. Um, I was there for like eight hours, so after the second or third hour, it just started overheating. I did have the AC full blast, and when I saw that, I ended up turning off the car and then figured out it was the fans. So I'll show you as soon as the fan kicks in. It'll take a little while because the car is not warmed up fully, or yeah, it is, but still gotta wait until the fans kick in. There you go, it's been sitting for a while. It's overheating. And guess what? Now the fans don't want to even turn on. Uh, so I'm gonna check voltage on that, seeing if I have voltage. Uh, I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit and see if they actually turn on right now. But it seems like they're not. So I'm gonna take it off, check some voltage on there, and go from there. So I've already checked the relays. These two relays are for your fans. Fan one, fan two. Uh, and then this one right here is for your fuse. Uh, it's still good. So now I'm gonna take off the fan shroud. I'm um, gonna let it cool down a little bit. I'm just gonna take off this hose right here that goes to the reservoir. I'm gonna take off this one, this clamp, this clamp, two tins right here. Uh, this is for, I believe, the air injection or the air pump or whatever you want to call it. Um, and then from there, you do have two, I believe, tens right there. There should be another one over here. Uh, oh, I guess I don't have it. But it should be right there. Um, and then this thing should be able to slide off. Um, if you don't have air pump, don't worry about this. I believe it's only the two ZZs that have it. Uh, if you have a one ZZ, I doubt it has this. Cool. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, and then I'm gonna see if I'm gonna go OEM or if I'm gonna upgrade to some better fans. Um, so let's get started. Last thing I forgot is the plug for the fan right there. And then it has like probably like two clips. Um, guess this one has doesn't have them or their own plug. There's the other clip right there, so you get the wire harness out of the way. Um, and just keep in mind that this reservoir does still have some coolant in there. Um, you could drain it by uh, I'm hooking the hose from the bottom, but I'm not. Just be I'm just gonna be careful when I take out the fan strap. So that's probably gonna be an issue if i do with if i do upgrade the fans because i need to relocate this and or make a new uh reservoir so ah uh, we'll see how it goes So just like that, the fan is already out. Really only took me like not even five minutes. And this is because I even had the hose. I did not have the screw right here, um, but yeah, I don't think this is OEM, this uh, radiator. So, um, but still, um, fan's not working. Um, they do, I believe they do sell the motor by itself from Toyota um this just does have like a couple of Philip screws back here so yeah so um 
I'm probably gonna measure this to see what's the width and stuff like that. So just in case I do go with uh, aftermarket uh, or I upgrade it, um, they don't make one for the Corolla. You have to get a universal. So that's why I have to do some measurements. So we'll see how it goes right now. Right now I'm gonna check uh, the pins, see if I have 12 volts. Um, which um, I should. Um, if it, I do, then you know that that's bad because the relays and everything are still intact. So I'm gonna do that real quick and I'll keep you guys posted right now. So let's try to hook it up right now. For those of you guys that don't know how to hook it up, um, this one is from Harbor Freight. It's actually, you can get a free one they're on special. If not, they're like seven bucks. Um, this is positive, negative, that's how I have it hooked up. Um, once you put it on the terminal, I'm gonna put negative to negative and positive to positive. Um, that's what I'm reading for the battery right now. Sucks that I don't have, uh, it's supposed to be 12, but since I don't have good connection right now, you're showing and that's what you're showing right now it's supposed to be at 12.6 um if you reverse it nothing's gonna happen this is what you have to be dc right here um i'm only reading 12 volts so that's why i have it at 20 um but if i reverse it all you're gonna get is a negative number um so there you go that's a better connection see now i have 12.8 but it's negative you know that you can't have negative, so uh, you have your positive terminals bad. So I'm just gonna put the terminals, uh, the pins in here and check it and then turn on the car and see how much voltage I get. So right now I'm not getting anything right now, but the reason why probably I'm not getting anything right now is because the fans are not kicking in right now. It's not saying that you don't it's not getting a signal to turn on right now, so you might have to be here in, into a little bit until you get a reading. Um, if you don't get a reading, it's because you're not getting power. So, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to wait here for a little bit and see if fans kick in and I get voltage. If I do, then you know it's the motor right there. So looks like the fan motor is not working. I got to hit it for it to turn on. Um, I'll show you guys right now once I put everything back together. Um, so that's the reason why it's overheating. Uh, I'm going to see if I could upgrade um, the fan and go from there. I put everything back together for easy. Uh, let me turn on the AC right now and you'll see what I'm talking about. AC's on. Fan are not kicking in. So guess what? Give it a little tap. It turns on. Ain't that up. So yeah, I'm gonna try to upgrade it now. I'm gonna swap out the motor, but I tried taking off the fan shroud of the motor. Um, but, um, uh, one of them stripped, so I might need to get another one of these from the junkyard if I do go decide to go OEM. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can try to drill it out, but that's my issue right there. So, um, just gotta order parts and then finish it off when the parts get here. 